In today's world, finding a place to be still and quiet is more and more challenging. But God still says, be still and know that I am God. In Hanson, Massachusetts, there is such a place at 499 State Street, the home of David and Susan Gray. We have tall trees and grass and an old house, 1740s. And we decided to put a, a prayer path through the tall trees in the woods, uh, like a horseshoe around some of the open grass in the, in the old house. Well, it's a meandering um, path in a woodland, really, and with benches along the way, and some other things, little signs here and there. We also made a brochure uh, that's available. When you come, it's uh, right in a little holder. You can pick one up yourself and it has a map of the path and where it goes and the different benches and the different resting places, uh, including a lighthouse and, and a, a butterfly bench and all kinds of little things like that. We call it a welcome to a path for prayer and reflection. And it's got the six places where we've put benches, places for reflection. And there are little signs there to, to say that and scripture in the brochure, just as guidance. And the, so the scriptures, uh, they're for each of the places where you can stop and where there's a, a resting place or a chance to keep on moving. We've got a hammock there if you really want to get in a hammock. One of the things that it's in the brochure is a picture of St. Francis, the patron saint of nature, and just really fit in. And we have a little pathway that leads up to him, and we were taking a picture of it. And David, um, uh, he, he showed me the picture. I said, well, you cut off his feet. Take another picture. So we took another picture, and when we looked at the picture, lo and behold, there was a rainbow. A rainbow in the picture, right over St. Francis. Hadn't been there, wasn't there when we took the picture, but we have the picture of St. Francis and the rainbow, which we just thought was pretty cool. Along the path, um, there's a, a book house, for a little book. Uh, we have available uh, complimentary copies of the New Testament if you wanted to take it and read that along the way and take it with you or to return it and someone else can use it too. Everything is so chaotic in our world. If we don't make the effort to carve out the time, we won't do it. And therefore we'll have lost an opportunity to be um, available to God for His purposes. So the more we can enable ourselves to be open to God and available, the more then we can help to bring the kingdom even more into the earth. The peace of God is hard to find in a busy city. God is still there. He's the creator and he's always present and available for people who are looking for peace and willing to listen, not just to talk to God. People are always really appreciative. After they've gone through, they, they've always said, it's so peaceful. And so that has to be God's peace. There's no question about that. And so we call it a sanctuary, a refuge, where you can find the creator of the refuge who's always present. And his presence with you will go when you leave as well as when you come. So come when you can, leave when you must. There's no guest book, there's no signing in. You don't have to call us first and call us last. Dawn to dusk, it's available. And so I think one of our purposes is to help to make the kingdom of God available to people to deepen their understanding of their relationship with God and how God would want them to be living in the kingdom to be bringing the kingdom to others as well. We hope people will find God's presence in their lives and find peace as they reflect on God in their own lives.